Next week, we're going to hold our annual meeting at the Tao Hall. Hello, hello everybody. Janice, where have you been? You're late. I'm sorry. You're always late. What happened this time? Well, I put all my things into my briefcase and I was just about to leave the house when there was a knock at the door. Yes, and it was the milkman who wanted some money. So I paid him and he put two bottles of milk on the kitchen table and then he went away. Yes, Janice, go on. Well, and then I put on my coat, went out of the door and closed it. And there was a terrible crash. What was it? It was Marmalade. Who or what is Marmalade? Marmalade is my cat and he had knocked a bottle of milk off the table. So I had to clean the floor and then I ran out of the house and got on my bicycle to come here. Well, now you're here, you can. And in the Hayek Street, a small tribe ran in front of me and I fell off my bicycle and a policeman helped me off the ground and I picked up my bicycle and here I am. Good. Now, where is your report? In my briefcase. And where is your briefcase? I left it at home. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a flat. To buy or to rent? Oh, to rent. How much do you want to pay? About 300 a month. Well, I've got one here in Sydney Road. It's 260 a month. How big is it? It's got a kitchen, dinner, a bathroom and one bedroom. Well, actually, I'd prefer something a bit bigger, if that's possible. Yes, I think so. Here's an interesting one. It's opposite the park. How much is it? It's 325 a month. It's the biggest flat we got in this area. What's it like? Well, there are two bedrooms, a sitting room, a kitchen and a bathroom. It sounds very interesting. Can you go and see it? Of course. Of course, sir. Can I have your name and address? Good afternoon. I'm phoning about the bed sitter. Yes. Could you tell me something about it, please? It's a very nice room. It's got a bed and a wardrobe, of course. And there's a chest of drawers, a table and two chairs, and two armchairs. And there's an electric fire. You share the kitchen. Could I come and see the room, please? My name's Johnson, Monica Johnson. I'm Mrs. Harris. The address is 160 Oak King Road, it's near East Putney Station. Situation 16. Will you marry me? Wasn't there something you wanted to ask me? Oh yes, now that you mention it, there was something now. What was it? Oh dear, this completely slipped my mind. Wasn't it something about... Yes, that's right. Oh, by the way, you owe me 10p for that phone call yesterday. That's true. I'm sorry. You were saying... Oh, yes. Well, was I... You were going to ask me something. The point is we... Or rather, I... I feel... Or should I say, I, I think I feel... Get to the point. Well, isn't it time? No, I don't mean that. What are you trying to say? Well, to cut a long story short, yes. I mean, to come to the point, yes. Will you marry me?
Don't worry, dear. We'll find something soon. Perhaps we could get a mortgage and buy a house. Houses are terribly expensive. Do you think your mother might let us make a flat upstairs in her house? I don't really want to ask her. I'd rather find a place of our own. Well, get the local paper again tomorrow. There may be some flats to let advertised there. All right, I can telephone from the office. Yes, but if there is anything that might be suitable, ring first thing in the morning. You know how quickly they go. I hear you and James are engaged at last. Yes, we are. When are you getting married? In the spring. Oh, lovely. Where's the wedding going to be? Well, we're not sure yet. Probably in St. Albans. Oh, yes. Your parents live there, don't they? Yes, that's right. Where are you going to live? We're going to buy a flat or a small house somewhere in South London. Are you going to give up your job? Yes, probably. But I may look for another one when we've settled in. Situation 17 in the office. Come on, Alison. Let's go. It's 5.30. You're terribly late. I know, Jill, but I've got to do all these jobs. What have you got to do? I've got to type these letters. I've got to file these reports. And I've got to tidy the stock room. Are these the reports? I can file them for you. Oh, oh thanks, Jill. And what about the stock room? Let's tie it together. Ah, Mr. Schumann? Yes, Jen. What's up? Well, I wonder if I could have a quick word. Certainly. Is something the matter? I'm really worried about the response on the last computer course. And sales course was poorly attended too. Don't worry about it, Jen. These things happen. So, from source, what do you think are my chances? Well, Harold, it's not for me to say. This is a decision that will be made by the board. Yes, I know that, but I know that your opinion counts. That woman can't possibly do the job She's not up to it. What do you mean? Look, I know the work she's done on course development, but that can be delegated. What I'm good at is working with outside people and getting people to attend the programs. I don't think she could handle that. Hello, John. You're looking well. Don't tell me you've just had another trip to the Greek islands. Some people have all the luck. Anyhow, how's it going? Great. We are rushed off our feet, but they say that's a good sign. Isn't Mary here? I don't think I've seen her. No, I'm afraid she couldn't come. Her mother's been ill. So she's gone rushing up to Lily's sister to sort things out. Pity too. She always looks forward to your dos. Nothing serious, I hope. I shouldn't think so. You know what mother-in-laws are like, and Mary's is no exception. Well, let me get you a drink, and then you must meet our new neighbors, the Greenaways. They're American and very nice. He's just been transferred to London for two years. What do you have, John? A whiskey to be 
sign. Did you see my memo, James? Yes. So you are advising that we turn down Coxon's application? Yes. The whole thing looks a bit uncertain to me. If he'd had a better track record, I would have had more confidence in the project. And what made it worse than the way he avoided talking about his two previous failures? He shouldn't have tried to hide in the facts. It only made me more suspicious. So I take it you didn't like him very much. No, it's not just that. I also don't think they've got the necessary financial experience. They should have tried to get someone involved in the project with a bit of financial know-how. If they'd had better management record, I'd certainly have given it more consideration. Hello, McTavis speaking. Hello, Tom. This is John Roberts from London. Ah, oh, yes, John. How are you? Fine, thanks. Look, it's about that telex you sent. There are a number of points I'm not happy about. Oh, really? Yes. The first point is what will happen if the political situation changes? Where will we stand? There are all kinds of rumors that there'll be some kinds of change before the year's out. Well, I don't think there's much chance of that, John. Things are fairly quiet here, and the government is still popular, particularly with the new development plan. Well, what about situation 18? Introductions and opening conversations. People in the United States don't always shake hands when they are introduced to one another. However, in a formal or business situation, people almost always shake hands. Mary, this is Joe's brother, David. I'm very glad to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. How do you like Texas so far? It's really different from what I expected. Don't worry. You'll get used to it in no time. Mrs. Smith, I'd like to introduce a friend of mine, Pierre Dubois. How do you do? Hello. What's your impression of the United States? Well, I can't get over how different the weather is here. Oh, you'll get used to it soon. Wendy, I'd like you to meet my brother Sam. Hi. Nice to meet you. What do you think of Dallas? Well, I'm still feeling a little homesick, and so many things seem strange to me. You're about to feel that way at first, I guess. Mrs. Hawks, this is Peter Brown. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? I hope you're enjoying your stay here. If it weren't for the climate, I'd like it here very much. It always takes time to get used to a new place. There are eight national holidays celebrated in the United States. New Year's Day, January. Washington's birthday, February. Memorial Day, May. Independence Day, the 4th of July. Labor Day, September. Veterans Day, November, Thanksgiving, November, and Christmas, December. In addition, there are many state and local holidays. 
Merry Christmas, same to you. Are you doing anything special? We are having some friends over. What are you do? What are you doing? Oh, I'm just going to take it easy. Happy New Year! Thank you. Same to you. Have you got any plans? I've been invited over to a friend's, and you? My roommate's having a party. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Same to you. Are you going anywhere? I thought about going to my sister's. How about you? Oh, I'll probably just stay home. Have a nice weekend. Thanks. You too. Do you have any plans? Well, my family is away, and I can't afford to do much. What about you? Oh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Situation nineteen: Meeting old friends. Many people shake hands when meeting after they haven't seen each other for a long time. I haven't seen you for ages. You haven't been sick, have you? No, I've been in California for the past month. How nice! Where were you exactly? San Diego. I got back yesterday. It's nice to see you again. Have you changed jobs? No, I've been visiting relatives. That's nice. Where? I went to visit an uncle of mine in San Francisco. You haven't been around much lately, have you? No, I've been away on vacation. Oh, where were you? Palm Springs. I've got a cousin there. Well, hello, stranger. Have you moved or something? No, I went to California for a few weeks. Oh, really? Where did you go? Los Angeles. I stayed with my brother. I've come to say goodbye. When are you off? I'm flying home on Sunday afternoon. Well, goodbye. See you soon. Please don't forget to say goodbye to the rest of the family for me. I'd like to say goodbye to everyone. What time are you going? My plane leaves at seven twenty-five. Goodbye. Remember to look me up if you are ever in Washington. I'd better be going. So soon? Why don't you stay a little longer? I wish I could, but it's already late. Oh, it's a shame that you have to leave. Thank you for a wonderful meal. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I really must be going now. But you just got here. Can't you stay a little longer? That's very nice of you, but I really can't. Well, it's too bad that you have to go. Thanks very much. It was a great party. It was our pleasure. I think it's about time we got going. What? Already? Won't you have more coffee? I'd love to, but I have to get up early tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish you could stay. Thank you for a very enjoyable evening. Don't mention it. I hope you can come again soon. I really should be on my way. Oh, not yet. At least have one for the road. No thanks, all the same. 
Well, I'm sorry you have to leave so early. Thank you very much. We really had a good time. Well, thank you for coming. Situation 20. I'm sorry, but I didn't catch what you said. I said, do you want me to help you? If you're sure you're not in a hurry, I can use a little help. Would you like me to get you a cap? I beg your pardon. I said, do you need any help? That's very nice of you. I guess I could use some help. Just tell me what you'd like me to do. What was that? I said, is there anything I can do? If it's not too much trouble, I would like some help. It's no trouble at all. I'll carry this suitcase for you. Excuse me, I didn't hear what you said. I asked you if you wanted some help. If you wouldn't mind, I could use a hand. I'll get this back for you. Is there any chance of my borrowing your typewriter? For how long? Until the end of the week. Yes, I guess that would be all right. Would you mind if I borrowed your car? Well, when exactly? Until Monday or Tuesday of next week. I'm sorry, but it's just not possible. Do you think you could lend me some of your records? Until when? Oh, just over the holidays. I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. I was wondering if you'd let me stay with you for a few days. It really depends on when. Until next weekend, if that's okay. Let me think it over and I'll let you know later. What a beautiful sweater! Do you think it looks good on me? Yes, and it goes beautifully with your pants. You won't believe it, but it was really cheap. I wish I could find one just like it. I like your new coat. Do you think it fits okay? Yes, it looks terrific. I bought it at half price. You were lucky to find it. That's a very nice jacket. Does it really look okay? Yes, and I like the color too. It matches your hat. And I got it on sale. That's incredible. I love that shirt. Do you really like it? Yes, it fits perfectly. It wasn't very expensive either. That's amazing. It sure looks expensive. Situation 21. Apology. I'm afraid I spilled coffee on the tablecloth. Oh, don't worry about it. I want to apologize. Is there anything I can do? Just forget about it. I never did like it anyway. I'm really sorry, but I seem to have misplaced your scarf. 
Oh, that's all right. I'm very sorry. Can I get you another one? No, forget about it. It's not important. I'm sorry, but I can't find the book you lent me. That's okay. I really feel bad about it. Let me buy you a new one. No, don't be silly. I wouldn't dream of letting you do that. I feel terrible, but I've just broken your ashtray. It's nothing to get upset about. I don't know what to say. I'd like to replace it. No, it's out of the question. I wish you wouldn't play the TV so loud. Sorry, were you trying to sleep? Yes, and while I think of it, please ask when you want to borrow my records. I'm sorry, you're right. I should have asked. Do you think you could keep the noise down? I'm sorry. Am I keeping you awake? Yes. And another thing, would you mind not making long distance calls? I'm sorry. I thought you wouldn't mind. That radio's pretty loud. Could you turn it down, please? Sorry, was I disturbing you? Yes, and something else. Please don't borrow my clothes without asking. Sorry, I guess I wasn't thinking. I won't do it again. You don't have to play that record so loud, do you? I'm sorry. Has it been bothering you? Yes, and please ask me the next time you want to use something. I'm sorry, I meant to ask you. Beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, it's not like what the radio said at all. I wish it would stay this way for the weekend. As long as it doesn't snow. It seems to be clearing up. It's such a nice change. I really don't think this weather will last. Let's just hope it doesn't get cold again. It looks like it's going to be sunny. Yes, it's much better than yesterday. They say we're going to get some rain later. Oh, let's just hope it stays warm. I think it's going to be a nice day. It's certainly a big improvement over yesterday. But it's supposed to get cloudy and windy again this afternoon. Well, the worst of the winter should be over. Situation 22. Asking for change. Excuse me, but could you give me some change? Let me see. Are dimes and quarters okay? I want to make a long distance from coal. Then you'll need small change. Sorry to bother you, but do you have change for a one? I'll have to look. What do you want it for? I need it for the parking meter. I can give you quarters if that can help. Pardon me, but I was wondering if you could break a one. Let me look. What you need? I need the change for the stamp machine. I think dimes and quarters will do. Excuse me, could you give me change for a dollar? I'll see what I have. 
What do you need it for? I want to get cigarettes. You can use quarters, dimes, and nickels. Operator, I'd like to make a collect call to Los Angeles. That's area code 213-486-2435. And what's the name of the person you want to speak to? Susan Green. Operator. Yes, operator. I'd like to place a person-to-person -person call to Chicago. The number is 932-8647. But I don't know the area code. Who do you want to speak to? I'll speak to anyone at extension 214. Operator, I want to make a person-to-person -person call to 212-836-1725. And the name of the person you are calling, please. At Cooper, that's C-O-O-P-E-R. Operator, operator, I'd like to place a call to Whitney Peck, Canada. The number is 9320806. What's the name of the party you're calling? I'm not sure of the name, but the extension is 211. Hello, can I speak to Yolanda, please? Hold on, please. Thank you. Sorry, but she's out. Would you tell her Tom Gray called? I'd be glad to. Hello? Is Mary Watt there, please? I'll see if she's in. Okay. I'm afraid she's not here. Could you give her a message, please? Yes, of course. Hello, is Mrs. James in, please? Hang on, please. All right. I'm sorry, but I think she stepped out. Would you ask her to call Larry Ruskin at 836-2550? Certainly. Hello? Could I please speak to Miss Davis? Just a minute, please. Thanks. She's not at her desk right now. Could you tell her to give Dove a call when she gets back? She has my number. Sure. Situation 23. Asking for directions. Excuse me, can you tell me where Main Street is? Turn left at the second light and then go straight for two blocks. Is it far? No, it's only five minute walk. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Excuse me, could you please tell me how to get to the station? Turn left at the first flight. You can't miss it. Will it take me long to get there? No, it's not far at all. Thank you. Don't mention it. Can you help me out? I'm trying to find a post office. Go three blocks and make a right. It's right there. Should I take the bus? No. It will only take about five minutes to walk. Thank you very much. Any time. Pardon me? I wonder if you could tell me how to get to Mott Street. Keep going straight for two blocks, then turn right on Elm Street, and you'll run right into it. Is it too far a walk? No, it's only a little ways. Thanks. Sure. Have a good day.
Would Dr. Brock be able to see me at 9.30 tomorrow? I'm sorry, but she won't have any openings until 11, unless there's a cancellation. Would one be convenient? Yes, she's free then. I wonder if the dentist could fit me in early tomorrow. I'm afraid there's nothing available before noon. How about 12.45? Sorry, but she's busy then too. I'd like to make an appointment with Professor Smith. Would 9 tomorrow be alright? I'm afraid not. She doesn't have any openings in the morning. Could I possibly make it early in the afternoon? No, that's not good either. But, but give me your number and I'll call you if somebody cancels. Do you think the doctor could see me tomorrow before 9.30? She won't be in until 10.45, so the earliest would be 11. How would 12.45 be? Just a second, I'll have to check. Does this bus go to the train station? No, you have to get off at the bank and take the A-52. How long is the ride? About 10 minutes. Is this the bus for Park Ridge? No, no, it only goes as far as Main Street, but you can get the number 31 there. How long does it take to get there? Only 15 minutes. Did this bus go to the beach? No, you're going the wrong way. You want the number 11. It stops in front of the post office. About how long does it take? Only 15 minutes. Is this the right bus for Pacific Boulevard? No, you should have taken the yellow line bus. You can get one at the next stop. Is it a long ride? Not that long. Can we airport please? I have to be there by 7. I can't promise anything, but I'll do my best. 59, okay. That would be $12, please. Thanks a lot. Here. Do you think you can get me to Union Station by quarter after? We shouldn't have any trouble if the traffic isn't too heavy. You've got plenty of time. That's seven dollars sixty-five, please. Thank you very much. Here's ten dollars. Give me one dollar back, please. The Hilton Hotel, please. I have a ten thirty appointment. You'll be there in plenty of time. Here we are. $8.50, please. Thank you. Here's $10. Keep the change. Grand Central Station, please. I want to try to catch a six train. I think you'll make it if we don't get stuck in a traffic jam. This is it. That's $9.15, please. Here. Situation 24 at a rain roll station. What time does the train for Boston leave? 9.25 on track 12. When does it arrive? It should be there at 11.45, but it may be a little late. How much is the one-way ticket? It's $32, coach and $50 club car. Which train do I take to Philadelphia? Track 4 at 9.30.
how long does it take? It's still in at noon. What's the round trip fare? It's twenty-five dollars one way or forty-five dollars for a weekend excursion. What track does Nature Liner leave from? That's track one at nine forty-five. What rhyme does it get in? It gets in around eleven forty-five. What's the fare? Coach is thirty-two dollars. What time's the next train to Washington? That's nine twenty-six on track sixteen. When does it get there? It's scheduled to arrive at eleven fifty. How much is it? It's thirty dollars one way or fifty-five dollars round trip. Which train do I take to Columbus Circle, please? Take the Uptown A train and get off at the next station. Where do I get the train? Just go down those steps. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Take the RR to Thirty Fourth Street. Then change to the D train and go to stops. Which platform is it on? Go down the stairs over there. Which line do I take for Greenwich Village? You can take the thirteen, the F, or the A. Just make sure you're going downtown. How do I get down to the trains? Take the escalator and then go to the right. Can you tell me the best way to get to Wall Street? You want the Seventh Avenue Express, the number two. Which way should I go? Go straight down those stairs and follow the signs. I want to fly to Chicago on Thursday, the first. Let me see what's available. I want to go coach, and I'd prefer a morning flight. United's flight one o two leaves at nine twenty. That's that's fine. What time do I have to be at the airport? Check-in time is eight forty-five. I'd like to make a reservation to Los Angeles for next Monday. Just a second, and I'll check the schedule. I'll need an economy ticket with an open return. TWA has a flight leaving at nine twenty-five. I guess that's okay. What time should I check in? You have to be there half an hour before departure time. What flights do you have from New York to London tomorrow? One moment, please. I'll find out what's available. I'd like to travel first class. Okay. We have a non-stop flight leaving Kennedy at nine twenty-five. When should I get to the airport? Please be there by eight forty-five at the latest. Do you fly to Dallas on Sunday? Just a minute, and I'll see if there are any flights. By the way. I don't want a night flight. There's a DC-10 out of LaGuardia Airport at 9:15 a.m. When am I supposed to check in? Try to be there by 